Hi, it's Kayla from Kayla Lovejoy Equine Art, and today I wanted to do um, a, a haul reveal. So I ended up finding a great deal on Craigslist. Um, well, what I think is a great deal on Craigslist. Last night, it had been posted for like five hours and I contacted the people right away. It was 31 model horses for $100. How can you beat that, right? So that comes out to like, I think it was like $3.22 a model. And um, I knew a lot of these horses were going to be classic scale models. So a lot of them are classics. Um, but there were about 10 traditional scale models. And when I was there, I went through the box real quick just to kind of see what there was. I didn't really look into it too much. Um, and now I'm going to open the box back up and check everything out and inspect it and see what kind of condition it's in. I know a lot of them are beat up and scratched up and their bodies and a lot of the models are older, um, but I still think it was a good deal, especially what I found at the bottom of the box. All right, so get ready. Uh, let's start this. Okay. I'm just going to take out whoever's on top. And it's really sad that they were all kind of thrown into this box together because there's some decent models in there and a lot of them are really scratched up. But we have an old Justin Morgan here. He's cute. Nothing too fancy. Um, he does have some rubs on his hips and stuff. But he's a cute little guy. Um, let's see. We have this guy. I don't even know what he is. He's probably going to go to my niece. <laughs> Or to a kid at the barn or something. This is um, Blue Ribbon Ranch. A Blue Ribbon Ranch horse. I think I actually have like a black stallion that would go with one of these. I used to have a couple of them as a kid. So, um, not a briar. Uh, let's see. Oh. oh. Okay, tractor supply horse right here. He is a tractor supply special run. Um, he does have some faint scratches in his coat that I might be able to, like, they're just shiny marks, and I might be able to touch them up. He does need some cleaning. He's got, like, these little white speckles all over him that I think is just, like, something falling on him. He does have um, a black mark on this off side, and it's too bad because this is actually a really nice model, the special, the tractor supply special run. Um, he does have a black mark right here, and I think there was actually a video, um, on the Briarfest stuff on how to remove black marks using, it was like a baking uh, soda slurry. So you just mix a little baking soda with water and make a paste and then you rub it on these and it will get the black marks to come off. So I'm going to try doing that and see if I can get that to come off because he's not really a, in terrible shape. All right, let's see who's next. All right, so it looks like we have this um, foundation stock horse, the foundation stallion or whatever he is. He does have some like crayon marks on him, but, and a little bit of yellowing and stuff, but I think really um, a good cleaning will just clean this guy right up. Okay, next up we have this guy. Okay, so he has a ton of marks on him, and I remember seeing him in the box the other day, and I was like, you know what, I've never seen that horse in my life. Who the hell is that? So I knew he was a Roy draft horse, um, and so I went on Identify Your Briar, and I looked him up, and he's actually a 1999 Sears Special Run, and he came with um, a black Clydesdale foal. So I thought that was kind of a cool find. I was like, ah, oh, that's a neat one. Uh, he's definitely uh, going to sit on the shelf. He's going to get cleaned up, and I think he'll clean up pretty nicely. White models are pretty, I think, usually pretty easy to clean up. I can get his scuffs off with, like, a magic eraser or something. Um, let's see. Up next. Okay. There's this girl. She is really beat up, and I feel so bad. She looks like she got attacked by somebody's dog because she's got, like, this chewed leg. Um... And she's got a bunch of deep gouges in her, so she she might be a custom victim. Um, she's, yeah, really beat up. It's too bad, because I think she was a Just About Horses special run. Uh, let's see. What do we have next? Okay, so we have a ton of classics in here. Um, there are probably four, maybe five other, there's like six more traditional models. So I've got six traditionals here. 
and I've got one, two, six more traditionals to go, but we're gonna get through some of these classics first. So we got this little guy. He's really beat up. I think he was a Walmart special run. He was one of the Mustangs from the Mustang sets. Um, okay, we have a non-briar, another one. Don't know what this guy is. I think he might be like a dollar store horse. Okay, we got this guy, Andalusian, and he's really beat up too. I'm trying to like pull these guys out without scratching them even more. It's hard. Uh, we have another Mustang. this guy. It looks like someone tried to customize him so they gave him like a white blaze and they gave him a white leg. He was somebody's little custom victim. <laughs> okay. Ta -da. This one is actually pretty decent. I don't see too many scratches on her. She looks pretty good. She does have a little scratch. No, maybe not. No, she actually looks pretty good. Not bad. I didn't realize how flimsy the tail is on this mold. <laughs> I'm amazed that didn't break off or anything. She's kind of cute. I don't know what that model is. Uh, let's see, who's here? This guy. I believe he's another one from a Walmart Mustang set. So as a kid, that was what started my Briar collection. My collection started with the classic Walmart horses. So I believe in my childhood collection, I actually, I think I have this guy. Um, and I do have a lot of the classic Mustangs from Walmart. I know I've got this one right here. Come on, Walmart Mustang. I've got her in my childhood collection. She was one of the Walmart specials. And I remember getting her and um, I believe she had a foal with her too. And that was what did it for me. That's what got me started into Briars, is just the Walmart sets. They were inexpensive, and my parents would buy me them for Christmas and for my birthday, and I just loved them. Okay. We have this little guy here. He is really beat up. Um, but I feel like this is kind of a fun little mold. I think he would make, I don't know. He could be customized into like a great little carousel horse or something. Give him like a new tail and maybe have his legs kick out a little more or something. And he'd make a cute carousel. Okay, we got this little guy, little traditional scale foal. We've got this girl here. I believe this is actually one of the Dreamer models. Uh, she just got customized. So she got some custom painted white legs and a blaze. And then we have this one here. This one's actually, I mean, it's beat up and it's in bad shape because it's all scratched up, but I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. I like the, I like the pattern Briar did on it. It's a cute little Mustang. Classics, more classics. Okay, so this isn't a classic, but this is a traditional foal. And <laughs> he's got a little broken ear. Poor little guy. But he is cute. He's a little Palomino. Um, family Arabian foal. And then we've got this guy. He's got more custom white legs. He's um, a quarter horse, and I believe he might have been from a Walmart set as well. I think he had come with like a mare and a foal. Actually, this might be the foal that he came with. I'm not sure. But that's a little classic foal. Okay, we're getting down to the last of it. Uh, I've got yet another classic. So, this is the Blue Roan Appaloosa, and I believe it came with a book, this model did. But she's pretty beat up too. Okay, I'm surrounded by horses. We are down to the final six traditionals and one animal. Okay, I'll start with the animal. 
there was this little cow in there and I believe this is like the brown Swiss cow I think it is um, it's not in terrible shape it does have a few scratches on its hips and stuff and um, on its shoulder a little bit it's not bad I think I can touch this model up pretty easily so I do some restoration work and I have restored traditional models I think I could restore this model pretty easily and this is a really cute little cow that's I believe this set is actually fairly hard to find too so um, it should have come with a full-size cow but it didn't this was all I got so I don't know I'm wondering if this lady who sold this set might have she did say that she had additional models up in her attic so I'm kind of hoping that she would have the cow to go with this and maybe even the Clydesdale foal to go with the Grey Roy. Now we have this bright lemon yellow family Arabian stallion and when I say lemon yellow I mean this thing I didn't know they came in the shade like this thing is a lemon I can go grab a lemon from my refrigerator to compare it to it is bright yellow I've never seen one like this I don't know if they're normally this color or not but I don't think so he's very yellow which is weird I mean his white markings are pretty white he's just got a very yellow body color somebody uh, did some weird things at the factory that day We have an alabaster family Arabian mare. And this model is actually in really good shape for um, considering the fact that she's been rustled around inside that box. Um, she does have some slight yellowing. She could definitely use some time in a window. I think that would help her out. I don't know. She almost smells like smoke. Like maybe, I don't know, maybe she has some smoke damage. I hope not. Um, because if you if your horses are stored in a house where someone smokes they will turn yellow over time so she could be a victim of that I hope not but we'll try whitening her up and see what happens um, she is really nice she's actually a really in really good shape for what she is can you guys hopefully you guys can still see me I need to find room for these these guys are going on the floor okay here we have a Briar Hobo. So he's pretty scratched up. He's got a lot of scratches on him. Um, I just thought he was kind of cool. The Briar Hobo. Okay, floor. Okay, the final three. We have a Citation. And it's weird because on I don't know. On this side, he's not in terrible shape. He does have some scuffing on his hook, on his um, hindquarter here, but on his other side, he has this large white mark, and I don't know if that's something that will just come off. I think it could. It's a white mark on the outside of his paint, so I think it could come off. He does have some scuffs on his shoulder, but overall, I thought this guy was kind of cool. I mean, I've got the um, I've got the glossy version of this guy. He does have a broken tail, so I do have to restore the tail on the glossy, but. This guy is the matte, and it's kind of cool to see see the other version. He's got great shading, this model does. He's very, very well shaded. Very nice. I like him. I think I could restore him. I'm going to try. All right. Then there was this guy. So this is the old chalky, uh, sorry, he's not chalky, um, charcoal, charcoal glossy fighting stallion and these guys are kind of kind of hard to find they're not super easy to come by um, so I thought that he was kind of neat he does have broken ear tips um, I actually I do have one of these right now and mine has broken ear tips as well I don't know why but I'm sure some kid played with him very rough and he I think he could be cleaned up he's got some some white marks on his coat but I definitely think he could be cleaned up he's kind of a cool dude he does need some time in a window as you can see his mane and tail are very yellow very very yellow um but yeah I thought he was kind of a cool one and then last but not least this one was my favorite at the bottom of the box 
there was a Nakoda. And I don't have a Nakoda model. And I'm always amazed when I look on eBay at how much the Nakodas are going for. Like the prices on them right now are just insane. And so when I saw them at the bottom of the box, I was like, oh yes, okay. That's what I want. Um, and he's actually in amazing shape. So I was really surprised. He, um, he looks like he's in really good shape. He does have some marks on his white areas here, which I can clean off, and he does have a little bit of rub on his nose, but I can touch that up with some black paint and put a little clear coat on, and you would never even know that he got scratched. So he's in pretty good shape, and I look forward to actually trying to possibly photo show this guy. I think he'd make a great photo show horse once he's just touched up a little bit. All right, um, so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this. This is my $100 Craigslist haul, and I got 31 horses for $100. So let me know in the comments below um, if you think it's worth it. Do you think this was a good haul? Do you not? Um, what do you think? Let me know. Thanks.